Okay, back with another video from Kiev. Today is mom's eighth day visiting, ninth day visiting, and today we're going to the Pacheska Lavra. Uh, funny enough, I've never done a video on this before. So this is uh, known as the Monastery of the Caves. It was originally founded as the Monastery of the Caves in 1501, and in 1999 it was granted recognition by the UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. So uh, this has, underneath the monastery are the crypts where some of the old priests are actually buried in glass coffins. Not supposed to film there. Hopefully we get there before they close. So we're in a march against time right now. So this is the Pacheska Lavra. Okay, we bypassed the upper cathedral uh, part of the grounds right now because we're trying to make it down to the catacombs <clears throat> before they close. So the catacombs are at the bottom of the hill and then you can walk through a tunnel up to the other churches on the other side there. You can see the domes. There's another set of catacombs over there, but I don't think we'll be going over there today. So for those of you that watched my other video where I, um, in G from Gito Mir, where I explained the difference between the Moscow Patriarchy and the Ke Kiev Patriarchy after the autocephaly was granted in 2018, uh, the Pachesco Lava here is part of the Moscow Patriarchy. Okay, we just came out of the catacombs, so uh, you're not supposed to film or take video down there. And so, uh, give me just a second, I think I need to clean my lens. You're not supposed to film or take video down there, so I was kind of doing the hidden camera thing. Um, so at this point, I haven't edited or even looked at it, so I have no idea what it looks like. But if you're wondering kind of why it was dark and why there's strange camera angles and stuff like that, that's why I wasn't supposed to be filming. So we just came out. I'm not sure what this little uh, structure is here. Um, so it's been a while since I've been here to actually go down into the crypts below the Petresca Lavra. It doesn't cost anything at all. If you do go buy one of the little candles or else there's areas down there if nobody's near you with a candle, it's pitch black, you can't see. So it's worth the five or ten ribna they charge for the skinny little candles to use while you're down there. Off the back, back balcony behind the, uh, the crypts, the catacombs we just came out of. I'm trying to figure out which church this is, but there's so many here you just don't know. This is on the uh, property. It's uh, one of the nativity scenes. They've got this all uh, lit up around Christmas time. It's, it's pretty, pretty cool to see. You can see all the marks on the glass. These greasy little kids are pressing their forehead against it. <laughs> okay, we're at the upper part of the monastery grounds. We just stopped at a little cafe to have something to eat again. <clears throat> and uh, notice this statue out here, the two people. So it's crazy, all the people coming by and kissing the statues. And also and down in the crypts, they were kissing the caskets in the churches. They're kissing the pictures of the saints and stuff. And it's kind of crazy with coronavirus going around. They're still kissing everything after everybody. So it's kind of creepy to see. Yes, it is. <clears throat> Except from what I remember, you, you can't actually go inside this one. There's nothing inside. It's a cool little cemetery up here, though. Ah, 
I see the date on this cathedral here, 1696. Part of the cemetery. Hey, you can see the motherland statue in the background. That's how close you are when you're at the uh, Petresca Larva. <clears throat> it looks close, but it's not so close, a little big. It's Nikolai Leonov, 1877. Here's a view of the back balcony. This is the main part of the cathedral complex up here. So we haven't even been up there yet. We just came down to the, uh, since we're running short on time, we came straight down to the, uh, what those things called? Catacombs. And then, see the train in the background down there? That's the red line, connects the left bank from the right bank. One of the old mosaics. reading one time that Ukraine is either the number one or number two exporter of honey in the world and uh, maybe on the way back you can see that we just walked past all these booths here it's like a little I don't know what we call this like a little uh, vendor sale and it's just honey after honey after honey ladies dress like a bee too so maybe on the way back I'll, I'll film some of it. Each one of these places has a separate church or monastery and they're raising money for their church that's what that's why there's different booths and uh, you usually have the pictures of the churches behind them a lot of them are selling uh, Religious artifacts and honey. Here's one. Nobody's sitting in front of it, so I don't want to film them. So there's pictures. Uh, there's the name of the church behind there. Each one of these booths has something like this, the name of their church or monastery. And then wherever they're selling here goes back. It's like a donation back to the church to help them raise funds for it. But a lot of people here don't want you filming them, so I was trying to show one. They didn't have somebody sitting next to it. Part of the main cathedral in the Petresca Larva. Forgot to film it and walked right up on it, so I had to back up a little bit. <clears throat> so you see the different colored uh, stone at the bottom. This is part of the original foundation. The 1941, uh, this church was bombed, and so part of it survived. It tells a story here on the little uh, placard. So the rest of the church was rebuilt around it. It's like I said, part of the surprise is actually open. It's part of the original foundation though. the church was built on. As I walk over by this cathedral here, you can hear the uh, priest chanting.
Well, I was trying to hold my... This film was the main inside the main cathedral at Petresca Library. You're not really supposed to film or take photos like everything else here. There's two of the crypts right outside the doors in the main chapel. See the other one? See outside of the main cathedral where I was just filming inside? It was bombed in 1941. Here, here it is in, still in 1959 years later before they started the rebuild. Hmm main bell tower here in the center of the complex was constructed in 1895. You can actually pay uh, their stairs, maybe up here in the, uh, it's like the arch right here, you can see the wrought iron staircase, the handles, so you can pay to walk up there. I, I just saw somebody walk around the side of the bell tower up there. <clears throat> From the other side, this was uh, something that was made and presented by what I say, the Petresca Lar Larva Cultural and Heritage Center, donated to them. It's really strange looking. It's the first time I've seen it with a net on it, so that's that's new. And this over here is the exit or entrance, depending on which side you come in. A little sign coming back as we went through the archway back there into this area said it was the Nat National Historic. Uh, library of Ukraine, but I'm not sure where back here it is. Maybe this building. The only reason I ever come back here is because <laughs> on the back side of here there's a toilet and a little place to get a coffee as well. Church. I was just in filming. I, uh, I've been here quite a few times. I didn't know this was actually here. Um, where I was showing you was the exit, you know, like the murals were behind a scaffolding. That's actually part of this church. It's called the Trinity Church, uh, Trinity Gate, Trinity Gate Church. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a, a Troika in Russian or, or Troikse, Troikse, Ukrainian. Anyway, um, so this is 11th century. The murals in here, over 120 murals, the 11th century Ukrainian Baroque style. Um, so like I said, I didn't know that was there. I, uh, here's the, here's the, uh, here's the uh, data plaque on it. I've been here several times. I had no idea that was even there. So that was pretty cool to find. There I was telling you was the, uh, the exit where you come and go in or the entrance. And that was the church we were just in up here. I didn't realize that was actually part of a church. I just thought literally this, this is like the gates to enter and exit onto the, uh, onto the property. Here's a short door for you little people. I the exit or entrance, whichever it decided to come in. The original murals, I was here a couple of years ago and they were trying to do the preservation on this. There's another little church right outside the property of the uh, Pachesca Lava. 
Didn't know this was back here. I kind of stumbled onto it one day. Or actually been here when this door was open. And it's still not. It chased me out of there pretty quick because I didn't have a ticket. They, they freak out if you have a ticket here. Even if you open the door and just kind of stick your head in and look around, well, they will chase you out. They need that money. So, not, I did poke my head inside. It looked pretty cool inside. So, uh, but unfortunately, <clears throat> he told me I have to buy a ticket at the Pacheska Larva, which is all the way back over there. And so, unless you actually know this is here and you know the name of the church, you don't know what church to buy a ticket for. So, some uh, need to work on their tourism. Um, tourism practices, the tourism, their advertising, they need to work on that a little bit. Okay, right down the road from the Pachesca Lavra is the National uh, Museum for the Holodomor, the genocide of the Ukrainian farmers. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about this, I did a video on this uh, last year. You can look through my videos. It's a real short video. It's only like a minute or two minutes long. It explains exactly what the Holodomor was, how almost 10 million uh, Ukrainian farmers were starved to death. This whole area's been under construction for a while, and the National Holodomor Museum is actually underground, but it looks to me like it's, uh, well, it actually even says right there it's closed right now. <clears throat> Backside of the Holodomor here, they're really trying to build all this up, the new park area down here. In fact, all that down there is brand new. I, don't know, I have no idea what they're building down there. That started since the last time I was here. East Bank on that side. Hydro Park, Hydro Park? East Bank, I said East Bank, Left Bank, Left Bank on that side, sorry. So we were just here by the uh, Halata Memorial, and then right here is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The Eternal Flame that's never on, or maybe it's on but it's never guarded, it's right around the corner here. So here's the Eternal Flame for the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So I have only ever seen guards out here during the, uh, the Halata Memorial, when they have the memorial service every year. They do a military tribute and I see guards. Any other time I don't see guards. So if there's any Ukrainians watching this, please tell me why this isn't guarded, especially being as patriotic a uh, country as Ukraine is and having uh, such a support with the military. The eternal flame should always be guarded. So it's kind of surprising to see they still have uh, some of these guys up. So I mean, they were national heroes, but they were still uh, under the Soviet Union. <laughs> Tank aviation back, back uh, the first statue I showed you. All right, I'll go ahead and wrap this video up for today. So uh, I pretty much wanted to you know, take mom down through the Pachesca Lavra. Uh, it is a world, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site, but since we were so close, and uh, we had a little bit of time to kill. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and show her the Holodomor Memorial, which is right next to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. So we took a walk. Uh, so if you're going to visit the, um, the Pachesca Larva, these other two things are here to see. On the other side of Pachesca Larva is a motherland statue, which we'll probably get to tomorrow or the next day. Uh, so that's it for today. Like I said, uh, hit a couple more things that you originally wanted to. So as always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.